Hello everyone, Starzer J here, and it's time to hit the scales of a game of Age of Empires 3, Wars of Liberty. No, Wars of Liberty is not some DLC that was put in for, um, you know, made by Ensemble Studios or whatever it's called and put in here. Nope, it's a, mo fan it's a fan mod where they um, try to add a lot more modifications to the game and edit a lot of things. I'm not going to be actually playing in a skirmish match, I'm just here for the campaign, and I want to see how Wars of Liberty actually affects the Age of Empires 3 campaign. Could be interesting. Maybe they have their own custom campaign waiting around the corners. I don't know. This mod is still, still a work in progress. It's supposed to um, add a thing called the Great War Era as well. Where, you know, um, you have World War I stuff. Anyway, for those who don't know what Age of Empires is, you build an empire, you destroy your enemies, and win. Let's see. The campaigns we have available, uh, Blood, Ice and Steel, Fire and Shadow, and the Asian Dynasties. Now, the actually uh, main reason I'm doing these campaigns is because of, um, when I actually installed Wars of Liberty, it wiped all my progress out of all my campaigns, and I was halfway through the, um, Asian Dynasties one, so, might as well start over again and record it this time. Why not? Anyway, this, anyway let's do the first campaign. In the late 16th century, the Knights of St. John defended the last stronghold of the Mediterranean island of Malta from an Ottoman invasion. Oh no, they're being invaded by couches! Stuff will get weird in this the game. The story of why my family first came to the New World begins with the attack on Malta, the last stronghold of a dying order of Crusader Knights. This Didn't much is <laughs> fact. My ancestor, Morgan Black, was with the Knights of St. John when they defended the island from Sahin and the Ottomans. The rest? Well, like most family stories, it's hard to separate the truth from the legend. Ouch! Guys, get in formation! Yeesh! Morgan, the Ottomans have landed. A thousand Janissaries led by Sahin. Thanks, Falcon. Captain Obvious. Alain Magnan still commands the knights, and he says we must hold them at the beach. We'll make our stand here. All right. The Crusades are dead. Your knighthood is all that remains, a relic. So is honor. I'm ready to die just yet, Morgan, <laughs> and I don't intend to see our knighthood broken. Yours also it did. Is already <laughs> broken, Morgan. Will you break with it? Yours also did. Honor, I'm going to shoot you while you're taunting me. Haha, -ha, take that. Anyway, let's see how uh, Lord of Liberty affects the campaign. Might crash the game, might do all sorts of stuff, but we'll see. I'm playing on easy difficulty because I want to have fun. I'm trying to play with fun. Use the crossbow to the forward walls to attack the Janissaries. Defend the fort at all costs. Defend the fort. I am Scottish. I'm a picture. And they are also pictures. <laughs> Yes, I have to say that. <laughs> That's what they sound like. Ooh, what have we got here? We got... Okay, not what I, not the soldiers I originally started with. But we'll find out. I'm also, um, my mouse sensitivity is a bit high because I'm playing in windowed mode. Because, um, otherwise my game will flicker a lot if I don't play in windowed mode. Ooh, we're gonna upgrade to Frontier Outposts already. Do I have a market? Yes, I can. All right, so what I'm what I'm currently doing is I'm just quickly, quickly trying to find what I can and sell it, and try not to click outside the window. That's also important to note. So, have you see Are they like guys with shields or something on them? Um, I'm also going to have to. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, I can't train new villagers. Here, grab that. You can find collectibles around on the ground. Useful things to just grab at random. Collecting as many of these treasures as we can. Yeah, settlers. Give us more settlers and explorers can grab um can grab random treasures scattered around. What you should be trying to do is grab as many treasures as possible. Okay, settlers have no voices. I can work with that, I suppose. Puffy seers, what do they do? And, okay, they, they just require lumber and a bit of gold. No gold! You grab that, you grab that. Yeah, Morgan just goes around with his sword and stabs everything. And he's still a picture. 
Okay, so let's just do that. What I've just done here is I've upgraded these, uh, I've upgraded these things into frontier outposts. They are much more powerful than regular outposts. They're guard towers. I like guard towers in this game. So I have them rushing through things a bit. This is Age of Empires. I'm not Spirit of the Law here. I'm not Spirit of the Law here. I'm just, you know, a guy who likes to play Age of Empires sometimes. So, okay, so... My campaign isn't going to go... Isn't, um... Well, going too overboard, I guess. Crossbowman. Crossbowman. Crack pepper. Uh, did we collect all the treasures? I collected all the treasures. Good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move some I'm gonna move my villagers at some settlers up here. Why? You'll see in a moment. People town centers. We don't have pikemen. What do we do? What do we do? We don't have pikemen. That's all right. We have guys with guns. Seriously. We got guys with guns here. Whoa! Oh, Italia! Good against infantry. You didn't say anything about being good against cavalry. Holy crab! I should, hire, I should just hire you guys. If resources permitting. Okay, hitting shift means you can um, sell massive amounts of resources at once. Uh, units are also trained in batches in this game, so when you... Yeah, units are trained in batches, so when I'm hitting shift and all that, the units are actually training, um, like, you're getting stacks of four and two here. Yeah. Um, what else can I explain? Yeah, I'm just... I'm sending a whole bunch of my villagers up here for a reason. Because, um, what's going to happen next is... Turks are going to start seeing in bombard cannons. Yeah, so when a, when, a hero, when a hero falls, they, um, they usually say, every moment I live is agony! Yeah! Stuff like that. Yeah, a couple of Doppler soldiers. From Austria. And Grenzers. Mm-hmm. They'll also want me to build a um, artillery foundry at some point. But I guess that'll come later. Uh, Turkish Janissaries, or Ottoman Janissaries. Shoot them! The Dardanelles gun! Oh, uh, I should put you into a scatter formation, like that. The Franks are on the hill, trying to send a signal. Send the ship around their flanks. Shoot the soldiers! Bam! Wow, these these guys are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna get there in time. Yes, yeah, so I just said yeah. I just said. I just said three affirmations. Okay, when one will suffice. Run! Run for it, guys! The Turks are coming with their janissaries. Yeah. Eh, he's on his way. Uh, guys, scatter formation! Scatter formation! Scatter! Demon flare! Alright, switch to that. Oh, nice. Here, here comes Elaine. Oh, I can handle those great bombards. Look at that, look at that! They're almost dead! Come on, they're almost dead! Even Morgan dealt with them. Oh, look at that! Yeah, I kind of rushed through things there a bit, but you know, I had I had a small infantry units. This is Malta, Morgan's home city. Later in the campaign, you'll be able to improve your home city in between scenarios. You have more power and options to win later scenarios. As you play Age of Empires 3, we typically visit your home city after every game. Okay. Right now at level two, I could, if I stayed a lot, little bit longer, I probably would have been able to get more experience points. What are experience points used for? Upgrades and stuff. Right now, you can't do anything. All right. Anyway, 
since, you know, I've, since it's only like 10 minutes in, might as well do the next level. As Sahin is driven from Malta, Morgan has been prepared, regroup, prepare to ambush the surviving Ottomans from their camps. And then sit on them. Okay, I made the joke. I made, already made that joke. We do not have to fight, Frank. Do you never question foolish orders? Why do you call me that? I'm Scottish. Scottish. All you Europeans are Frank to me. Continue to act blindly, Morgan. And you and your pathetic knighthood will be irrelevant in the modern world. Says the Ottoman! <laughs> yes. Well done. Haha, <laughs> historical in-joke. The Turks are holed up in the caves to the east. If we attack now, we can drive them from Malta. Nothing would please me more, my lord. Yes, I managed Amen. to capture a cannon. Me. Bring that bombard. You mean Dardanelle's gun? Jeez. <laughs> That's what game calls them. Dardanelle's gun. Although, in the original campaign, they were called Great Bombards. And it's War's Liberty, giving names to everything. Which is good. I like having I like my stuff having names. Into the caves. Might do a bit of like one thing you can do is uh grinding. Sir, we are under attack from the east. We can't hold out much longer. Launch the cannons! One thing you can do is um Bring the bombards! Yeah, so the things you can do in this game are you can sit you can after before finishing a level. You can just sit there and grind experience points to reach the um, level you need. This might this has some uses in later in the game. Like, Good work. like upgrades and stuff do have their uses. The Ottomans are protecting weapons and supplies in the caves to the east. We must push them out of there. Oh, I can advance an industrial age for some reason. We found a weapons cache. Hmm. You can, okay, so weapons cache up there. I'm just taking stock of what I've got for for constructing stuff. Sir, this base is not equipped to fight an army of janissaries. We need to build an artillery foundry and train hoop throwers. Yeah, they hoop throwers. <laughs> hoop throwers. Seriously, that's how you defeat janissaries. You throw hoops at them. You throw <laughs> hoops at the enemy. Tom <laughs> Under. That's how you deal with it. You just, yep, just throw a, throw a flaming hoop and it'll kill Janissaries. All right, so you can't actually train anything in here because of all that. Is there a marketplace I can use? Yes, I need a marketplace. Marketplaces are important structures. You kind of, you probably want some. What I've done here is built some fishing boats. I'll get, they'll gather your food resources for you and, yeah. And increase your su increase your supply. These guys are foraging. Once those are done, I might I might switch them over to um, chopping wood or gathering. Oh, actually, no, I should move them to gathering wood, gold or whatever. Cash dollars. There you go. Gathering cash dollars from mines. Just throwing in my upgrades. These increase your production speed, which they should be there. Production speed should always be increased like that. You two start digging. Diggy diggy gold. Meanwhile, we're gonna get probably get some more, more tross. And it seems I can't build hoop throwers. Oh, there goes my experience points. Bereit, Händlerin. Right, so nope, we can't do anything else but but reveals reveal that that man is a spy and all that. Can build a temple, but that requires more lumber. Requires more lumber support. So more lumber then. Holzfeld. Looks like I need more lumber. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing in all the upgrades I can. Another thing you can do is build some build some ships down here and sneak attack the enemy. Since I'm playing on easy, the enemy won't send too many forces. In fact, I could launch an assault now. With what I've currently got. I'm gonna set you to group one. Group one, ground forces. Group two, artillery forces. Simple. Sim simple strategy for me. Probably, probably won't matter in the um. Like you know, they'll probably be like, Stars RJ, you suck. You should be doing all this stuff. You should be doing MLG Pro TS7, whatever stuff. And I'll be like, Yeah, I could do that, but I could also just have fun. 
Okay, that's a town center. Town centers will shoot at you if they have villagers inside. No villagers inside? Shoot them. Also, when you sack a town center, EPIC MUSIC PLEASE! No priest, you can't condemn this structure. Well, you can try, but it's not going to work. You just can't condemn a building. Ooh, Swiss pikemen. Alright, so what have we got? We got two religions to choose from. Lutheran and Orthodox. Not exactly sure what the uh, religions do, like, for every faction out there. I play as the British a lot, because I like the British have, cool, have a lot of cool stuff. I think one religion is for combat, the other one is for uh, resources. So, if you want better, if you want more combat, capable priests, I think you choose one of them. And if you want more resources, you choose the other one. Villagers can also fight back. But, you know... So, train 10 hoop throwers. Does it count if I build grenadiers instead? No, I need, I, need more. I need lots of gold. I'm gonna do anything, I need gold! Gold! I love the gold! And I just released some more prisoners. Woohoo! Alright. So, other objectives you can get. Release prisoners from stockades. Shoot them all! Shoot them all! Livestock pen. Those make... If you, you can buy animals for 100 food, and then kill them, and then fat them up so they reach 300 food, then kill them, and eat the profits! Oh, okay, so he can't actually... So, even though he's a hero unit, he can't pick up treasures. Alrighty then. Hey, hey, hey! Stay away from the guy. <laughs> By the way, artillery does not have a minimum range. What you just saw there was an artillery. What you just saw there was the artillery firing at close range, <laughs> sending the, sending them flying. Just want to point that out. That artillery can do that, apparently, in this game. Age of 3 is awesome, at times. Alright, chop some trees. Eat your lunch, go to the lavatory. Alright, fine, we'll build some more... Build some more houses. Because my population here is uh, reaching its maximum. To increase your population cap, you got to uh, build houses. It costs like 100 wood each to build. And you can't build any new units without it. So let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Just got half the price. And these gather. Okay, and these those upgrades make your units gather more quickly. You gain faith by assigning a villager to the to the temple. This is not in the base game, by the way. I should just keep pointing this out. A lot of the stuff is not in the base game. The temples is pretty much just another upgrade building for me. So let's see, they cost food and gold. So I'll sell that. Okay, so I'll just do that. I'll train, I'll tra I'll train five of these guys, see what happens. Now, when playing a skirmish match, you should try and make sure the, um... I'm going to you to group three. Yeah, when you're, um... When you're exploring the map, make sure you grab as much treasure as possible before the enemy does. Now, I could grab, gather supplies here. Oh, word! Mega Grenadier. Yeah, so I don't know all the um, nuances of what the campaign does, but it's interesting what, what can happen. It's interesting what can happen when you add, add a mod to this. 
no, yes, 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 we know. We know about your photogenicness. <laughs> Gold mine up there. Beam Useful if you want supplies. Weapon cash. Uh, why aren't shooting that thing? BAM! Yeah, so you can, I, just, I just shot the guy, like, I, I like using artillery at close range. It's dangerous, very dangerous to do so, but hilarious when you can pull it off. Very hilarious when you can pull it off. Okay, we got too many people chopping down trees over there. That's not good for our, um, that's not good for our stuff. Okay, can upgrade stuff here. Another thing I should try and also aim for in every campaign is mercantilism. Spend, cost 150, cost a lot of gold to get to. Cost a lot of gold to mine, to uh, acquire, but it has experience points, which can be used for city upgrades. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Alrighty. Let's put a caravel or I could fork out for a galleon. Galleons. Galleons are interesting. I'll show them off. <laughs> galleons are like. Galleons are warships, essentially. We will have to fight the guards to get the treasure. Yeah, sometimes treasures will be guarded, so just keep that in mind. When you start a game, sometimes your explorer cannot take out the treasure. Good work. They can't actually take the treasure because it'll be guarded by like a crap ton of units. Some heroes have the ability to instantly kill enemy units, though. So here's the thing about galleons: they can train troops. I'm just checking what we what I can train from these. They can train troops, and they have a lot more guns. Although, it seems these outlawed dudes can do a lot of damage to a huge wooden warship of a, a bunch of pistols and rifles. Actually, aim for these guys. They have less hit points and they're doing more damage to the ship. We don't want them scuffing the paint, after all. So, another thing you can do is um, take, some take some villages out of the... I'm actually going to send Morgan down here as well, because um, the reward you can pick up increases your villages, increases your speed of whoever picks up the item, so have, have Morgan pick it up. Oh, yeah. Trying to gather resources, are you? Oh, you're still alive. What you notice here are huge crates of food and stuff. Food stuffage. That's also useful. There's the entrance to the caves. The weapons caches must be inside. All right, send the great bombard over. Destroy any weapons caches you find. Now you notice the artillery when I tell it to move a certain distance, it suddenly stops and draws out horses. Yep, artillery do that. So that's kind of the artillery's thing. Ship to repair by taking him close to a dock and. I'm a also, just notice, like when I selected the group, only the only Morgan was selected. Yeah, it's another thing. On the good ship Venus, <laughs> and the rest of the song's very dirty. These crates are very, very fast. A depletable source of resources, but they are very, very fast in gathering resources. When your villagers go there, they'll. Gather from them really quickly. Aufgabe. Useful. Yeah. Okay, so we're out of gold, are we? Händlerin. Aufgabe. Not anymore. Zimmermann. Zimmermann. Not anymore, you're not. Zimmermann. Zimmermann. There we go. Add some more. Add more to the population, okay. I guess. Come on, yes. All right, we got more soldiers. He Good. He Don't want the preachers in there. Yes. Take the preachers out. And There's group one. Leon. Get over there. Now, another thing in Age of Empires 3 is there is no such thing as 
well, Linus, like when it comes, when it comes to, if you can see an enemy unit, you can shoot at it, as long as you get into range. So, some of the weirdest things you can do in this game, uh, you can see some guys over there. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly switch over into defensive mode, because I want to show off something. So you can see them. I don't know, a lot of, okay, never mind. I think it's a bit too out of range. The point is, walls do not protect your villagers from bullets. And if you've got a, th and if you've got a thing called a mortar, mortars can shoot over this. Like, even though this is a cave, mortars can shoot over the cave. Somehow. Alright, let's see if this, if this works. I doubt it. Alright, so now you gather all those resources. Let's get you back in here. Then we'll upgrade you. Get the Mega Grenadiers in there. Uh, you get back in there, you. And you. Gather. Gold. Mm-hmm. I could just go in and I could just go in and uh, attack, but find a shipwreck. Gather any supplies near it. So I gathered all the supplies from that shipwreck. Okay, so that doesn't count as building ten hoop throwers. Oh, looks like we can't achieve some objectives here. Hmm. Demi cannon. Now, when you um upgrade stuff. When you upgrade stuff, you can choose a you can choose a politician, and you get different upgrades for each one. They give you um they give you different benefits and stuff and all that. Not exactly sure how it will play out here, so I'm not going to bother for the moment. What I am going to do is move to the good ship Venus. Uh, somewhere. Okay, we've got fishing boats there. One thing you can do is build caravels, and these are light. These are light warships. They can carry troops as well. They're not as powerful as galleons. They're not as strong, but I think they build faster, and they're way cheaper to build. Not sure how shipbuilding speeds work around here. Whoa, okay, yep. Yeah. Two ways you can go about that one, though. Two ways you can go about that one. One of them is you can go in and lure them. Lure the enemy away, which you might actually do. Is it possible? Oh, I can just do that. All right. So what I can do, get back in there, Morgan. So what I can do is have these grenadiers sitting there. Get the comet, comet and Venus. Caravels can also do a thing called broadside. Fires all their guns at once. Now, quick, say all that. Oh, okay, you're not getting lured? They know. They know. One thing ships can do is they can bomb, like, one thing ships do is they can bomb. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was thinking. Could just do that as well. Yeah, get into the, get into the good ship Venus. Nope, everyone's in? Good. Okay. Engage! Fire your broadside! Fire everything, every gun you have! Boom. Now, attack the dock. Meanwhile, you, on the other hand... Unload your troops! Grenadiers? Do your grena grenade stuff. In the meantime, though, what I can do as well is... Find out what I can build. What well, I should be building, because that's a lot of gold everything costs. Seriously, everything costs a lot of... The Venus is too far from the shore. Oh, not anymore. Now you can move yourself there. I don't, I don't, I don't need any more ships. We have secured the area. We have secured the zone. Drop zone is cleared. 
south. Drop zone is cleared. So we find a shipwreck and gather any supplies. That was a shipwreck and I gathered all the supplies, except for that. There's nothing else to gather from there. We'll get in there. So, nothing else to gather. Forward. You can also set a rally point for this. For this. Gal when a galleon is training troops, they cannot move. Hello. And of course, the villagers will automatically move to another location. More galleons you have, the fast troops train, I guess. Alright, commence flanking attack. Commence the flanking attack. Once the Ottoman weapon they will be swashbuckling. Woo! That's another thing you can do. Swashbuckling. Special ability makes a guy spin around and like a record player and get things dead. Okay. Upgrade some mercantilism there. I know there was some kind of upgrade you can get which um What happens? Let's do that one. Yeah, I know there's an upgrade you can get which allows you to. Uh, can't remember what I was about. Oh, by the way, Carol's not completely useless once all the enemy wet sea is gone. They can also fish. That's right. Carol can just drop down nets and start fishing. All that stuff they have there. Alright. Yeah, in the base game, you can't go... Th like, in this particular campaign, you cannot go to the Industrial Age. You're stuck at the Capital Age, or Fortress Age, as it's called. Yes, yes. You're stuck in the Fortress yes, Age. Yes. So, just keep that in mind as well. Yeah, hello. Yes. Gather those resources. Yes. Group one, keep moving up ahead. Yes. Some more caches yes. to take out. He was. We have to destroy all these weapon caches. Yeah. In the game. In the game. Um. The Brits speak in kind of in classical English, apparently. So yeah. So that is English. What Elaine is speaking there is English. Yeah. He's speaking English. Reckons it English. Wait, what? I was thinking, wait, did it give me 750 experience points or something for that? No, it turns out it didn't give me 750 experience points for that. Oh, and advanced the industrial age. And the chapel, chapel has turned into that thing. Wow. So, I think I'll, um... I think next time I... Should pick a religion. I'll pick, I'll pick the other one. See if that's even be any better. Nope. No new real upgrades. You guys ran out of trees, have you? You're all out of trees, huh? Bereit. Ja. Holzfäller. Why don't you start chopping? Chopping for wood. Uh. What is one gathering here? Oh, Hello. you're still gathering, are you? Well, never mind. Let's go. Come on, flanking attack! Attack move. There's nothing you can do. Attack move. Which straight forward. Boom. Use your swashbuckle ability. All right, now destroy the last caches. Booyah! Woohoo! Sir. One of the explosions has revealed another passage. Yay! Excellent work, man. Victory! Yay! Woo! <sighs> All right. So I think that'll be it for this one. Oh wait, wait. They can still gotta. <laughs> they don't take me to the whole. They don't take me to the home city yet. Elaine, look. The last explosion opened a tunnel. Can't you ride your horse in those caves? 
So oh. this is what the Ottomans really wanted on Malta. A library carved in stone. Very old. This writing was left by the Circle of Arsus. Wait, what? Who are they? They are a secret society. Some say they're the most powerful men in Europe. Others say they're nothing more than scientists and alchemists. They seek a means for eternal life. Yeah, really? Seriously? The writing refers to the Lake of the Moon, a place known only to the Aztecs. Really? America sive nobi orbis. Um, I need you to go to the New World, Morgan. What? Across the ocean sea? Sahin and the Ottomans are on their way there now. Defeat them and find this lake. The future of the knighthood depends on your success. You sail with the tide. We'll send you resources and men once you arrive. Yep. This is where the game can get rather ridiculous at times. Oh yeah, sure. Let's just sail to the New World. Yeah, Knights of Malta. Let's just sail off to the New World. Oh, and the Ottomans are also on their way to the New World, so just deal with those guys as well. Yeah, weird. Oh, but it gets even weirder as the game goes on. But that'll be it for this one. Up the stars, RJ. And I'll be tipping the scales in the favour of Morgan Black and his knights in the next episode. Signing off.